episode of assembling. This time we will be assembling again. We continue the, ass the assembly of the 75342 Gloam or a public fighter tank. Before we continue, uh, let me excuse myself if you hear any background noises. Pretty much my neighbors are kind of weird. Um, they also like to argue in a bit of a kind of a, you know, um, higher than usual tone and vibration. So if you hear any background noises coming from my neighbors, please excuse this. Don't mind this. <laughs> All right, let's continue. So uh, last time we built the forward, the right section of the tank including the, I think, the radiator and the part of the engine. I think that's the engine. We reached page 26, which we completed. We placed this part right here. Let me place the stickers. Away, there we go. So the red section should face the front, which means we will need to secure ourselves some moving space if anything fails. All right. All right, so this should go. 
There we go. Oh. Every time I'm putting stickers, it's like, I don't know, playing Samurai Kirby or something. I don't know. It's just... I, I, I think a lot of you are having the same kind of feeling. It's just you have to have a lot of concentration. But this time I think I matched very fine. Um, let me just...
skeleton of the tank. I don't know what this is, but we'll see later. There needs to be a red one right here. Oops. And man, when you press it, it's just... That's one of the drawbacks of the, the model I just noticed, is that there isn't enough fixation right here on the front nose part. Oh, the front nose parts, they are kind of unstable. If you if I make this kind of beating movement here, this gonna fly out. Um, if I strike it right here. So this needs to be, in my opinion, a bit more strengthened. We'll see if it will happen later on. Alright. <clears throat> so two white. Two white. Two red. And the green. There's a white one right here. Man, I hope these bars will not fly out. I've had cases in which they're flying out so easily. And then we take the green and we put it into the front, the very front of the tank. There we go. some beverage here. All right, Whew, that hit the spot. As Samuel Jackson said in, of course, Pulp Fiction. All right, <laughs> sorry for sniffing. Um, my nose is running a bit. That's done. Moving on. Alright, so we're starting to build the left. We, so far we made the lower right chassis. And now we'll be building the left one. So, same operation. That's what it says here. Turn here over. Like this. And the same parts which we've used so far. Sorry. The same parts which we've used so far will be used again on the other side. I expected the tank to be a bit wider and bigger. We'll see if that will be the case. Alright, we take it. And then we do... Oh, actually, we... We need to... First, do this. So we take the gray one. Put it over here. Take the white one.
so sorry, but can't help it.
there's an echo. See, so not only do we play 
place the red one at the bottom. But we also reinforce the top row with another white one. Right here. Then we take the flat red one, place it here, push it. And these two are going here. There we go. Left console or left uh, radiators. Uh, Engine shields, whatever. I just want to double check something. Right. Okay. Yeah. I'm. I think I've done them correctly. There we go. Sorry. That's pretty much it. Next page. So we attach this side. Again, keeping up with the symmetry. Um, uh, I think I did a mistake. <laughs> Dead coming, man. Yeah, I did. <laughs> see live video or live filming contains in itself a lot of mistakes so we need to grab the white one right here at the back okay then we grab the three Double check to confirm that we have a mistake in something. Yes, it aligns, the plates align, the blocks align. We'll be covering the upper section right here. So far, so good. All right. Yes, now comes the upper part.
push it. So we can catch a while. So the black section right here on the sticker should be facing like this. Just like Bob Ross.
something was missing. Imagine it for a second. That's done. All right. For your information, what I intend to do is I intend to complete all these packs left. There are some very few parts left. And after which, when we complete all three packs of these, I mean, we've completed one, we're left with some few parts. This will be the end of the video. Probably we'll go over 55 minutes, we'll see. But um, this will be the, the longest one yet. And from the next days when I have time, we will be uh, unpacking the bags or the bag. There's just one more bag with number two on it, which will be the upper section of the tank. So.
is what Lego sounds like. Check out the acoustics. There's the red one on the top of the other. Oh, check this out. That's what I was talking about. Just look at how unstable it becomes when you push it a bit more. That I don't like this. I hope in the next pack, when we uh, do the lower part of it, there will be some way to fix these plates or blocks right here with a significant even lighter kind of a pressure they fault and disconnect and I don't like this nobody does on 
the whole construction, the whole chassis. And that's what we do on the right one. We have two of these, there we go. Again, give a bit of a push on the whole constriction. So everything fits well. All right. Like a bit of a squeeze even. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Disconnected the front nose again. Man, that's giving me trouble. Lego, come on, people. All right. Make your models a bit more sturdy. That's the only complaint I have so far from this set. If you have it, keep in mind the front uh, kind of, or if you intend to buy it, keep in mind that the front noses are unstable on this section right here. And that's done. And there's only two small triangles left. The other pieces are spare parts for the droids. Namely, two arms and a small triangle, um, I mean, a prism, which we used on the side area right here. So, these are spare parts, I will make sure they are preserved. This also gives a bit of a sturdiness to the front, but still we need to reinforce these. Alright people, so there we have it. The chassis is done.
Sunday. But this has been the... Where's my pencil? There we go. This has been... We've reached page 47. On the next video, which will be part 4, we will continue with bag number 2. And we will start the assembling of the best part, namely Maze Window and the Clones. So, thank you again um, for watching. We've made a good almost one hour of filming, raw, unedited filming um, video ASMR. I hope you like it. I hope you find this relaxing, enjoyable. Uh, and we will see each other on the next one. Until then, stay well, peace, and catch you later.